Hey guys, Lance here. I wanted to go ahead and give you a review and my experience with these wire-free wireless Bluetooth uh, earphones here uh, by Axgeo, the Dash. And there's some things that are, I mean, really cool about these and then some things that could, I think, use some tweaking uh, to get these to where they're really awesome. So I want to kind of give you the pros and cons uh, of both. Also, uh, feel free to check in the description and I'll of course include, include additional information and link where you can get these if you're interested. So uh, let me start off with just the overall idea about these is as you can see they're wire free. So uh, as opposed to a lot of the uh, Bluetooth earphones that are out there there's a cord you know connecting the left and right ear, earbuds and um, the downside to that is if you're working out or running it can get in the way it can kind of catch the back of your neck and it just becomes a little bit of a um, you know, annoyance, I guess. Uh, but with these, you don't have that. So first, let's just talk about how these actually work as far as um, the, the Bluetooth and the pairing. It works pretty well. So you can see right on the top here, um, you have this uh, middle button you can push and that allows it to pair uh, with your, your device. Now, you can use this uh, just as one. So you have a right and left here, uh, which you can see is um, right there. This is the right one. And this is the left one, so I'll flip them around. So the right one, you can just use by itself. You don't actually have to use the left one. You can just use it uh, individually. However, you can also turn on the left one, and then it will connect aut uh, automatically to the right one, and you can you know, have the stereo sound. Um, as far as connecting and pairing automatically, I'd say it works uh, most of the time, but it's not 100%. Sometimes I would have to disconnect it and, and repair it and go through that whole thing again. So that was a bit of a hassle. I wouldn't say it's as flawless as some of the other um, wired Bluetooth earphones in this uh, price range, but um, overall works pretty well. Likewise, once you turn on your right one and then you go to turn on your left one, I found most of the time the left one will connect automatically uh, and find the right one and, and pair. But again, occasionally it doesn't work out and you just have to either turn off everything, turn it back on. It's it's kind of a hassle when that does happen, but most of the time it's worked fine. Um, battery life is on the low end. That's one of the biggest downsides. Uh, downsides. You get maybe an hour and a half or so of battery life. It's going to depend on how loud you're listening to your music or movie or whatever. But um, what I find is basically after using these for like a workout, you know, maybe it's half an hour, an hour of using these, I'll start going ahead and charging these right away. Uh, now they charge super fast, so that's the good news. But the other downside is, you're, unless you have a separate, um, oh, as far as the uh, the micro uh, SB goes, what's nice here is this does allow you to charge both at once. So you can see you've got kind of the dual ends here. So that's cool. But you are having to plug this one in, and then you're having to plug the second one in. So it is a little bit of extra effort and work there. And you're doing that basically daily if you're using these daily. And at least that's what I found as far as my routine goes. Now, that's where it's gonna be up to you as to whether that would be an inconvenience, you know, so much so that you wouldn't wanna keep using these, or is having the freedom of no wires uh, worth it? And again, that's gonna depend on the person. I really like not having the wires uh, or the, the wire. I like, I love being wire free. It's so comfortable uh, and it feels great not to have that wire. I just love it. So I find a lot of times I don't mind charging them real quick. It just takes a couple seconds, you know, to go ahead and plug this in each day. You just something you kind of get in the habit of doing. Now the downside is you notice I added these extra white, um, uh, little uh, ear ear tips here, and that's because the ones that come with it aren't that comfortable. They're okay. They're it's not. The, I wouldn't say they're. Um, yeah, they, they just start to create discomfort in the ear canal, uh, which is too bad because these were just uh, a part of some other cheap earphones um, that I had. Honestly, cheap, same price point, but um, quite a bit more comfortable. So I just taken these off and I use these other ones instead. And as a result, um, th these kind of disappear a little bit more in the ear. So the angle is nice the way they designed this. That's all great. It's just this material, it's a little too agitating feeling, I guess is the word I'd use in, in the ear. So 
that's a, a bit of a disappointment there. If you're someone who normally doesn't like in-ear type things and you're a little bit more sensitive, my ears are that way, then you might be in the same situation and might just want to purchase some separate uh, ear tips if you don't have them already. Um, or at least try them as they are. They might be fine. But if not, just realize that might be something you'll want to invest in, spend a couple bucks more um, to uh, make the, uh, the whole situation a little bit more comfortable for you. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind from the comfort wise. But otherwise, the weight of these is is fine. Um, like I said, they, they pretty much disappear for the, you know, so to speak, uh, especially for an hour to an, uh, you know, a half an hour to hours worth of use, um, because the battery life isn't that long. You're not going to be wearing these all day anyway. And so from that standpoint, they're definitely comfortable for that. Now getting on to the sound quality. Um, the sound quality is quite good. There's, there's a nice low end bass response. So whether you're watching movies or listening to more contemporary music, you get a nice, uh, mid bass bump there. So you can, you can hear the bass. It's not overly accentuated, but it is emphasized a bit enough to really bring contemporary uh, music to life. The uh, mid range is nice. There's good clarity and detail there as well. So, as well. so voices sound good. They sound natural enough. And likewise with the highs, there's enough energy and sparkle um, to, to kind of bring that, uh, those frequencies to life as well. So overall for at this price point, I'd say it, it does a nice job. It's not blowing me away. I'm not like, holy cow, this is, you know, the, the sound I'd get from a hundred dollar pair of earphones. It's not that level, but it's certainly good. It's certainly better than what you get from, you know, the, um, what you'd expect from a cheaper pair, you know, $15 earphones and so forth. Um, I should say wireless. When you're talking wired earphones, that's a, a different subject. But um, yeah, so I'd say the quality is going to be similar to maybe a really one of the better pair of, say, $15 wired ear, ear in-ear um, uh, earphones, you know, along those lines. You know, so um, it's good. It's good. Um, but now getting back to it's kind of along lines of sound quality, there is a little bit of latency. So if you're watching uh, movies, there is a slight delay between what you see and what you hear. Now, it's actually not terrible. So I found like if I'm watching Netflix, it's okay. I It's not as bad as some I've seen where it can be like a whole quarter second or so. And it's just too annoying when you're watching people speak and the sound is, is, is delayed by quite a bit. This, it's especially noticeable in sharp sounds like if there's a, uh, a gunshot or something like that. But people talking, it's okay. You can get by, especially if you're doing a workout or something where you're not completely focused on it. That's where it's it's not so bad. So um, that's just something to keep in mind if you're planning on using these for that. So, um, oh, and one, one other thing is a bit of a downside is this left one will cut out occasionally and disconnect from the right one. And it happens quite a bit, you know, um, it happens pretty much every time I use these. So every, you know, it might happen several times during a three minute period, like once every 30 seconds, it might happen like once every three minutes, it might happen once every 15 minutes, you know, just, it really varies. Um, it's not that it happens so much that I'm like, ah, I just, it, I can't listen to these anymore, or I don't even use the left one. It's not to that point, but I'll notice it might happen a bunch for three minutes, and then it doesn't happen again for like 10 or 15 or 20 minutes, um, or five minutes or something. So and it, it, what will happen is the third, this, uh, this one will just cut out, and then it'll come back on, you know, in a split second later. So it just, if you know, it's just kind of like weird, like, oh, where'd my, le where'd the left ear one go? And then it, it comes back on again. So Again, uh, something to keep in mind if you're expecting a flawless performance that way. But yeah, you know, for the money, it certainly could be worthwhile. It's really going to depend on your expectations. And just keep in mind the things I mentioned, the, the kind of cons, the weak points, so to speak. If those are things that would really bother you, then you might want to hold off on these. But if you don't think those would bother you or the idea of being wire free is, you know, better than any of the, the little problems I mentioned, then... Um, Certainly this could be worthwhile. I mean, you do get a nice little case, great little charging cable. I like that you can charge both at once. That's pretty cool. Um, and it's reasonably comfortable even with the tips, but I recommend getting new tips uh, just to make them, especially if you're going to use these every day. It's nice to have them just be that much more comfortable. Um, I uh, didn't mention this. This works great. They stay in the ears nicely, very nicely, nice and secure, easy to put on. You can see this has some flexibility here which is really nice and it's comfortable. It's kind of a hardened plastic, but it doesn't um, agitate the tops of the ears. It's, it's very nice that way. So 
So yeah, for some I'd say this is gonna be great, others I'm gonna say hold off. Again, it's just gonna depend on you.